special thanks to Undisputed Promotions for giving me the opportunity and putting me on the show. Um, it, was a, it was a great night, it really was. Um, it was electric in the building. We, we trained real, real hard for that one and it was obviously my biggest fight to date. <laughs> to put on a show and come away with a victory in front of my home crowd. So I've been boxing since I was five years old. My um my dad was my coach, taught me how to fight, pretty much everything I knew as a young kid. As a boxer, I learned from him. Um, had my first amateur fight at eight years old. Did that for 10 years, had just under 100 fights. You know, we traveled across the country and went everywhere as a team and as a family, and it was, it was really great. I mean, it was some of the best, best times of my life. It was hard, you know, my dad was hard on me but it made me the fighter I am today. Um, we turned pro in 2012. I'm nine and three right now. We just won the NBA Continental title at middleweight in November. And, um, you know, it's just something, doing it as long as I have, um, it's all I know, you know what I mean? It's, it's kind of a part of me sometimes. You know, the camps get harder and the camps get longer, especially with these eight round fights and going up to 10 round fights. And, you know, I'm getting older, I'm 30 now, but, <clears throat> you know, I, I kid, I say I'm, I'm just hitting my prime. But, uh, you know, it's tough. It's, it's tough to balance training how you need to train, how you're supposed to train, how you want to train, and then your life. You know, I work a full-time job as well. And, you know, I have a girlfriend, I have a, I have a whole life. So it, it's it's hard to, to balance, it definitely takes um, a team effort from everybody and understanding. My girlfriend's great, you know, she helps me out in, in so many ways, you know, between the shopping and the cooking and the diet and just all the little things that I don't have the, the time and mental capacity for when I'm, I'm in camp. Um, but you know, it, it definitely, it, it, takes, it takes a toll, but at the same time, you take a break you don't have a fight like like now we have the quarantine we had a couple fights lined up and everything got you know put on hold and uh that's when you really realize that you miss it um when you don't have it just like anything you don't you don't know what you got till it's gone so you know it was a long boring drawn out summer without any fights to look forward to and you know always training but it's it's different when you have that that fight that uh Know, that focus um, coming up it's always on the horizon it's, it's what you're thinking about it's it gives you something you know what I mean to strive for to work harder for so I'm definitely excited um, that now boxing's back we're getting back to normal slowly but surely and uh, we'll have another one before the end of the year we were aiming for November so um, just getting started with that Definitely can't wait. So the fight in November um, is going to be here in Orlando locally, and I love fighting locally. I mean, we have just such a great fan base, and um, fighting for Undisputed Promotions, I mean, it, it, it's just a great show that they put on. Anthony with Undisputed, is, is uh, he knows what he's doing. He does a great job um, throwing a show, putting on a show, um, is really bringing boxing back to Orlando and, and I mean that's what we needed here for a long time don't have an opponent yet for uh, for November it's still early but he um, he always puts together a great matchup and I'm excited um, I'm excited to see what to see who we get what we get and um, it'll be nothing uh, less than amazing just like the last one I'm sure um, this right here is St. Michael, the Archangel. He's 
you know, our protector. Go into to battle with him. And he watches over you. And that's what we do all the time. You know, boxing, it's a battle. I have. On the inside, you can't see it, but it's it's a lion for a couple of reasons. But yeah, the lion on the inside of the arm, which is another, you know, warrior aspect. I'm a Leo as well, so it all just fits. I have uh, here, I'll show you later, but it says it's better to live one day as a lion than a hundred years as a lamb. And that, that uh, quote has just always, you know what I mean, kind of spoken to me. So many people go through life, don't do the things that they want to do, don't take the chances that they want to take for whatever reason. And, um, you know, that quote is, it's better to take those chances and, 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 and try and fail than to not try at all. I'm Italian, my dad's Italian, I'm half. And, uh, you know, being Italian growing up, watching Rocky, and, and my, my favorite fighter growing up um, was Arturo Gatti, you know, another Italian. He is my favorite fighter of all time. He, um, whether they call him the ultimate blood and guts warrior, and, and he was somebody that made you, that gave you chills, you know what I mean, when, when you watch him fight. And uh, I always loved that, and I always wanted to be, you know what I mean, that type of fighter. I wanted people to come to my fight and walk away you know win or lose but walk away and just be like wow you know what i mean because that that's that's a sport yes obviously you have you got to be good at what you do and you got to perfect your your craft but um to make people feel something when they come and watch you i i, I think is the ultimate um recognition of what you do uh, in anything really you know sports or, or any type of job you want to you want you want people to feel something about your work, but um, yeah. As far as you know, growing up, uh, time you have you got a big family. It's really hard because we love to eat. We love to eat pasta, <laughs> and uh, it's uh, it's a terrible thing to go through. You know, six seven weeks of camp and not be able to have any pasta or any sauce. So. That in itself is, is one of the more trying things in camp to me. There's a place um, that I go to, or I try, I can't go there a lot, but I would go there every day if I could. Once once I'm retired, I'll go to uh, Stasio's um, <coughs> over off Robinson and the uh, Italian place, and they make the best, the best sandwich. It's uh, called the package. It's some meatballs, Italian sausage, cheese, sauce, it's, beautiful but it's probably like 3,000 calories <laughs> so I can only eat that maybe two or three times a year but I, I consider it a treat you know food's a big deal a big deal to, to the Italians so you say you come from a big family so you have um, siblings how many siblings <coughs> do you have I forget sometimes. I forget how many siblings I have. Um, I have, I got a, a sister, three bro four brothers. See, forgot, lost count. Um, and uh, you know, a bunch of bunch of cousins. And and then we had, you know, I got a couple of them that it it's just like you know Italians always say, oh, this is my cousin Vinny or my uncle Jimmy. Every you know, with it, but they're your friends, the people that grew up you grew up with got another brother Alan he's you know we're not blood related or anything but he's he's my brother you know I knew him we grew up boxing together um, since we were what six or seven he lived with me for a long time you know what I mean so that when I say family it's it's more of, of that that extended family and we all grew up boxing that that was, that was uh, the greatest thing you know uh, my brothers my sister even she was she was really good um, back in the day so everything we did growing up was very family oriented and then you know half the family is the boxing team anyway so it was it was nice you know like i said those those years were some of the best years going into uh the trips we did um a trip from florida to kansas city and two big passenger vans you know that it, it was just an adventure you know flew out to cali for a week for like the national pal back in the day and and it was
was, it was, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. And everybody was good, you know. That's, that's really all we did. We boxed and, uh, you know, just played sports, boxed, and, and hung around each other. Halfway through my pro career, I, I made a coaching change from my father to my now coach and longtime uh, friend, Peachy Cologne. And we've, we've been on a good run ever since. Like I said, we captured the title. We have a great working relationship. Uh, he's family to me. And uh, I, owe, I owe a lot to him. I owe just as much to him as I do my father. They both have taught me everything I know. 